Hi, um, Chas. Welcome to um, yeah my apartment. Um, I'm Ram from Drum Team Pro, and you had a question: How to tune your drum? Uh, this is a 13-inch tom, and you wanted to tune your 13-inch to a um, A2 at 120 110 hertz for the fundamental tone, and uh, with maximum sustain. So the low pitches should be around like 189, following the estimate of the app. Uh, let me first give you the basics. So this drum now at the moment is tuned to uh, that setting and uh, as you can see the fundamental tone is almost spot on um, and the drum comes from a cold corridor and it's like war much warmer in here. It's freezing outside so probably the temperature uh, will still change a bit but you'll get the, the general idea. Uh, now how does preset tuner mode works? First, you have to. Um, how does preset tuner mode work? First, you have to hit the center to let the app know the fundamental tone of the drum. Once it knows the fundamental tone of the drum, only then you flip to edge mode. And now it will look for the low pitches. As you can see, it is generally tuned okay. Um, target pitch which is 189 and that target pitch is an estimate so it could be that for your drum um, if you tune both heads to 189 hertz it may be possible that the fundamental tone on your drum that is the result of the combination of both heads uh, it might be a bit lower than 110 hertz or it might be a bit higher and in get in that case you just tune the tension uh, of one head or both heads a bit so you you tune to a higher low pitch or a lower low pitch to bring uh, up your fundamental tone or to bring it down. Um, good, let me tell you the basics first. So if you hit the drum in the center, I'll mute the edge a bit with my fingers. Boom, boom, boom. You hear the lowest tone and that's called the fundamental tone. Now the fundamental tone can't be produced if you place a drum on a flat surface like a table or so. so both heads need to be on it and they need to vibrate both together. Um, so there must be enough tension on them and so on. So this is the lowest tone. Now if I mute the center, that's the low pitch. So you have... And at the moment, uh, there's a, like a very wide tonal spacing uh, in between. They're far apart in pitch. Um, Depending on how you tune the drum, um, the interval between the low pitch and the fundamental tone uh, can vary. So depending on the interval between both heads, the interval between the better head's low pitch and the fundamental tone uh, varies. So that's something you don't have to worry about that. Um, if you understand that in a deeper level, you'll also be able to deduct more about the drum's behavior in the decay and so on and the feel about it. But in general, um, let, let's just start tuning this drum. So this is the proof. It's tuned uh, at both sides. I will show you both sides. Around those target pitches. And it's, it's cleared around those target pitches and it gives that resulting fundamental tone. Now for a 13 inch tom, an A2 is relatively high. Uh, it's not jazzy high or so, but it's not that low fat sound that some people like to tune to. Depends on your needs, depends on your genre and so on. I flip to Rezo head here and let's measure the Rezo head. So the fundamental tone is uh, 111 hertz. Also uh, the same on both sides. You'll hear a different timbre because you have completely different heads on it, but the pitches uh, they are tuned to are almost the same. So here it's 191. fine-tune that. I'll do that on the spot so you will see how it goes. You have a target lug pitch. When you're in edge mode, as soon as the detected uh, lug pitch is close enough, you'll see this blue option um, pop up here. If you press that, you can start fine-tuning. So I'm going to tune to the target tone. Now it just shows the difference. It's 
actually better um, to tune down even more like that and then tune up a bit. That is just to ensure that the head is uh, gripping well and that it's good contact with the bearing edge. Alternatively, you could apply some center pressure in between. plan to do that with the app it's possible but it will also take some extra time because you really need to redefine the tension well and not every drum keeps its pitch uh, evenly and certainly not after you played it a bit so you have to always consider is it worth it or not so if the head is properly clear you can hear that it re resonates quite evenly like oh, and there's a slight wobble in it like super even already now one thing i have to say about the choice of heads that i made here um there's like a super heavy batter head on it and the thinnest uh, resonant head because i wanted to explore some extremes and these are just heads i used for research and that's also giving that disbalanced proportion this is like the thickest um remo head i have and like the heaviest and this is the thinnest remo head i have so i was researching these things probably you won't have that much of a difference on your drum um, but you'll hear that in the sound a little bit as well the, the heads are quite extreme you know the combination of both heads this drum would sound more controlled if it would also have a bit of a heavier um, resonant head combined with the heavy thin stripe or x whatever it was so you see, we tuned it closer to the target pitch, and it's already um, more... Oh, I'll do the same for the batter. I flip to batter. First I let it know fundamental tone, then I flip to edge mode. And let me now fine-tune to the target as well. see now the heads are spot on um, because if the temperature is changing it's also still changing its tension all the time a bit um, because the plastic just elongates and loses some of the pitch now um, blah, 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 let's just detune the whole thing and start from scratch I'll always take two keys if you have two keys it's very efficient um, That helps to ensure that the tension you apply on the drum head is even. So these are almost, you know, like um, finger tight. I can move these with the fingers again, as you can see. I'm just blocking them. So I brought it back to finger tight. Let me just do that. I'll press in the center a bit to make sure um, the head is quite well seated. I'll do the same for the, the bottom, the resonant head. So as you can see, boom, boom, nice 80 sample sound. Um, let's bring it up. So that's okay, don't exaggerate, but that's, that's actually a good thing to do when you want to see the head. To get started, just bring the, the drum up into a tension range where um, it sings a bit. Do the same for the opposite head. 
you can do that on steel. There, there are tricks like I'll show you. You play the drum on a flat surface. Boom, 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 boom. Let me try to. Yes. You place a drum on a flat surface. You apply some center pressure until you see some wrinkles. Um, when it's quite slack at the finger type point. And then you just increase the tension on the bed so that the wrinkles disappear. And that gives you already a low starting point that helps to guarantee that the head is evenly seated. At this moment, I don't care about how it's tuned. I, I know I need to go to that A. Let me just quickly check um, what the fundamental tone is. 71, I, I know I need to go up a lot still. And the lug pitch probably is also super low. I need to go to 190. So I'll just bring it up. Let's check it again. Flip back to to uh, center mode. Every time you change the tension a lot, flip back to back to center mode so the app knows the fundamental tone, and only then check the load pitches. 160. So I'll bring it up a little bit more. And then I'll do the same for the resonant head uh, before I go fine tuning. I'll bring it in the range, you know, in the ballpark range of 180, 180 something. Good enough. So this one needs to get a bit more attention. Now I'll do the resonant head. This is a thinner head, a much thinner head. So it's going to get much faster uh, to that higher pitch. It needs a thinner head needs less tension to get a high pitch. Um, you can tune thinner heads much higher than you can tune uh, thicker heads in in lug pitch. Uh, but you can also tune them a thicker head, thicker head much lower in lug pitch than you could tune a uh, thin head. still. Let's bring that up. This is really tensioning. I'm not tuning it. I'm tensioning the head and I'm just checking if I'm in the right pitch range. This is an overtone. Most probably. Maybe not. Okay, so I'm over that pitch range. It's not an overtone, I'm over the pitch range. So, as I told you, a thin head gets there much quicker. I'll flip to reso because I need it to be in reso mode. In this case, both pitches are the same. It doesn't really matter. Okay, let's fine tune here. Before fine tuning, I'm going to press. So the head um, will not slip somewhere, like, like when I'm tuning up, just to ensure it's better seated. Um, when you press right after that, uh, the plastic is a bit stretched too much, and that will cause a short period in time where the pitches are a bit lower. Okay, so as you can see, those looks are actually much lower. And that's often the case. Um, so often there are some lugs boom, 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 a bit higher and then when you jump to the opposite head it's almost a copy of the pitch of uh, the opposite head. So another advantage of using two keys is that that way you can focus on bringing those lugs right. So I know now I need to go to 189, right? I know these are already there almost, so these are way lower. If I bring these up to 189, they're currently at 180-ish. Those, they will overshoot the range. So what I'll do now, that comes with experience, I'll detune these a bit. And I'll bring these up much more. In an attempt to um, bring them closer together. Which happened, you see? Tuning tricks that
that you uh, yeah, those are not twists. That's just simple logic. Um, but maybe it requires some experience before you start doing these things. But that's an efficient way to, uh, if you encounter such a situation, to tune the drum more evenly. Okay, as you can see, opposing legs were the same. So I'm going to, I'm very close, the blue option is available, I'm going to fine tune now. Precise, uh, I'm really happy. You can also hear how well uh, this one sings. Now let's do the opposite head. Sorry, I pressed the wrong uh, button. Okay, so the fundamental tone. Oops, this is not uh, working anymore. Okay, this is a bug. I went to the lock tuner screen and back, and now... Okay, that's a bug. I need to fix that. I'm very sorry for that. Let me see if I... No. Okay, I'm going to load the preset again, tuner again. Sorry for that, though. Like, I just discovered it. Uh, I'll release an update next week with a fix for that. Okay. I still have to load the right uh, tone. It's an A preset. So, and it was 288. Okay, here we go. Tune. So we're going to fine tune it. too fast I, I touched with my finger And we 
are back to the same situation that we had before. Um, so that's how, how it works. I did it from scratch. I hope it's clear. Let me do another um, test for, for a lower note, for example. Um, let's, let's change the note to a G. Now, that brings our tuning target here to 168 and a half. Let's do that. Um, that means I need to bring both heads down. I use two keys, that's much easier. Uh, that goes quite easily that way. For this one I don't need to turn that much to go down to that uh, frequency because it's a much thinner head and it's more responsive to changes. Let's, uh, let's double check here what the resonant head pitch is. It's almost perfectly on. Let's fine tune. Yeah, it's a coincidence that it's like first time, right? But as you could see, I started with an evenly cleared head and now changing the pitch is actually... Um, if you do it with two keys, it's like really a safe way to stay more or less cleared. I tuned down so it's better to now press a bit uh, or tune up a bit, like it's better to go a bit lower and then tune up again, but uh, I'm going to um, skip that step for a second, so the video is not too long, it's just to show you the principle. Um, let's check the better head, sorry I flipped the better head. That switch determines what are the target lug pitches that it loads. Uh, when you use maximum sustain, those are the same, but... Um, If you have a different setting than maximum sustain or you use your own values, then of course that's a different story. I didn't encounter overtones here, but sometimes it happens that suddenly you see a very high value. Um, and then the best thing you can do is ignore it and just focus on the other legs for a second. Um, and once you're close enough, if you use that uh, look focus option, Lock focus, then probably it will just skip that. So now I'm, I'm dialing in those last hertz. Or a little too high. Almost there. Again, you hear how it sings. So here it is, it's tuned to an another note now. Target tone is uh, 98 and now it's 97 and a half. So within a minute I tuned actually to another note but with specific lug pitches on the heads. Um, I can tune to that note with different lug pitches as well. Uh, let, let's see, maybe I like, if I just do it by ear, right? Maybe I like boom, boom, a lower better head still. I'll try to tune the drum differently, but stay at the same fundamental tone. So now, uh, if we check, let's let's quickly check in basic tuner mode. If we check, fundamental tone is 90, but I want to stay around at 98, right? So I tuned down the lug pitches of the batter head, and in response to that, also the overall fundamental tone of the drum uh, went down. But if I want to stay at the same fundamental tone, 
I can bring the resonant head up. That way, the, the whole overall uh, tone of the drum will rise again, so the fundamental tone will get higher again. While I'll do that, I'll have a different feel. Six, almost there. I like it. It's a warmer tone here. It gets a bit of boom. Um, it's warmer because the better head is tuned a bit lower. Bring that up a bit. Very nice. Um, this works better with those heads, I find. It's a very long sustain though. Um, but this is the sound I like. So the intention of the app is that you... It's meant to stimulate you to explore tuning, right? So it, it's not meant to force you to tune your drums in a certain way. The estimates that it gives are just starting points for people who or new to all that and, and wish to have some quick references so they can quickly get to a certain point. It's not meant to force you to tune uh, in a given way. Here we are, 98 is the fundamental, 206 is the low pitch. Yes, I have one. So this is an overtone. That's the real tone, and that can be confusing. When you hit near a lug, three things can happen. Uh, this is basic to know note. You could either see the fundamental tone by accident, or you could see the lug pitch, or depending on where you hit, you know, this is the higher order overtone, and that can be confusing. Uh, sometimes it can happen that there's a lug, maybe the opposite lug is going to show the same behavior. Sometimes it can happen, yes, this look gives the overtone, now it's right. So those jumpy readings, I know it's annoying in the beginning, but it is in the sound, and the app just responds to that. Um, so if that happens, take a look that is like giving you the right value, and you'll have to just check it on the head and know that this look cannot be 100 hertz higher than those two because that one is in the middle of them and the tension cannot just increase that much uh, in between two other tension points. So just use your gut feel to determine what is the right lug pitch. Lock target. And it is actually very close in pitch. Um, on another tension it could be another lug. Like sometimes it happens to tune down a bit and then tune up a bit. And that, that reading is gone. So. If you have a difficult look like that, do like this and tension it back up. And it will be probably already solved without even going to. to the difference mode to check the pitch. Now let's clear this. I'm gonna clear this to 204. It's a random value, it's just a pitch that I've just chosen because I want to show you we just discovered a sound that we like and let's make a preset for it. So we can store this sound in our own custom preset. Now I'm actually using basic tuner mode. In basic tuner mode you don't need to start with center and edge. Um, but sometimes you get some overtones and then you just do what I showed you. So not all the values that are you know, given by the app, you know, in the estimates to tune, are good for your drum, you know, it's, it's like you have to decide for yourself how to tune it. 
The app can give you some guidance. The app helps you with clearing your head. But doing decisions and, and listening where the drum sound and feel is right for your needs, that's really your job. Um, it's just a matter that you start to understand how both heads cooperate to give you a certain fundamental and feel. Let's clear this drum here. It's pretty clear still. Cleared. a bit differently you know more towards the center I get like that reading um, why does it sing so well it has to do with the intervals between both heads and the intervals between the fundamental tone and uh, the low pitch listen now